uh, ZX 850s. Beautiful shoes. These were $12. And buy comps. Buy comps. <laughs> It's a Robbie Hollywood public holiday today. If you don't know what that means, go ask the guys from Worldwide Reselling. They'll let you know. Mark it in your calendar. It's a public holiday for you now. We're gonna head up to Armadale. I'm hoping all the stores are open that I'm going to the area. Uh, sometimes there's a couple of them that I really like that uh, weren't open last time and they probably won't be open again, I don't know. But we'll find out. I've had some real good sales lately and uh, a lot of the things that um, you have been seeing on Show & Tell have been going for more than the price that I've been putting in the kitty, which has been awesome. So I'm very happy with that. Basically undercutting myself when I put it in the kitty. Stick around to the end for that. Don't forget to drop a comment, say good day, give a thumbs up. Uh, helps the uh, algorithm and uh, YouTube know that people are watching and it's gonna get pushed out a little bit more. That's if you're enjoying the content. So appreciate everyone that does uh, click on and watch. But shut up talking, let's fucking go, let's do this. Let's do it. One of my favorite op shops is closed. Fuck's sake. And then the other one is closed as well. Which is like the coincider of it. This one's open, we'll have a look. This one's shit. This one's shit, we'll go in. I think what was almost a dog shit day turned out okay. Um, actually, it turned out pretty good, I think. I think um, I didn't spend too much either. I don't think either, but we'll add those receipts up. But let's go back to the shed and uh, add everything up and let's see what we're gonna make by comps. And like I said, everything that I've been uh, putting in the kitty, I've been underestimating because I've been selling uh, things for more than what I've been putting in the kitty. But you price it high first, see if it goes for the first couple of weeks, and then you price it at the price that it should be. And they have been going. They have been going. All right, let's go to the shed. Let's go. I kind of run out of time. It's a couple of days later, I've got to get this uh, video done. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Uh, it's not the most, but it actually all adds up pretty good. Um, I'll show you this quickly. So you saw me grab these, uh, this John Cena Basham plush. These were $2 each. 
Uh, that should go for about $30, $40. So I'll just put $30 in the kitty because we got a John Cena one and a uh, AJ Styles one there. Um, you did see me grab this game, this Camelot one for $40. Um, this looks like I can get about $30, $40. So uh, maybe more. I always underestimate when I do these uh, videos. So we will say about 40 bucks for it. It's all in there. Uh, this Kiss book, uh, Kiss and Tell. Um, this book, I should only probably get about 20 bucks plus postage for that one. That one's pretty cool. I had to grab this for a laugh, how to cut your family's hair and trim your dad's beard. I only brought this because I know how to trim my own beard, I don't need this video, but maybe let me know in the comments, do you want me to do a watch along to this? Well, I trim my own beard. I uh, found this Star Wars book for a dollar, two dollars, two dollars. Uh, this is to go in my own collection, so um, we won't put that in the kitty. We'll just come out here where there's a bit more light, so I can show you this where there's more light. But uh, lucky I did not uh, miss these uh, ZX 850s. Beautiful shoes. These were $12. And bi comps, bi comps, uh, what size are they? So they're eight and a half. Bi comps should get between $100 and $120 for these ones. These are in awesome condition. These are basically brand new. Um, they don't look like they've been used at all. So I'm so glad I got these. And you know I never pick up shoes, so they're pretty cool. Uh, this is Uncle Toby's vest. This is actually a work vest. Uh, nobody does oats like Uncle Toby. Good Australian uh, muesli bars and all that. Pretty insulated. Uh, this was four bucks. So this was four bucks. I'm hoping to get about thirty to forty dollars for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is extra small, but it was two dollars. Uh, Victoria Vix VFL, um, but it's not actually AFL uh, jersey, so it's uh, just your generic brand. Their uh, sportsgun.net, uh, no other logos and all that, but very nice little jersey, and uh, some of them will want the uh, big Vs. Uh, this will probably go for about 30 bucks, but I paid 20 bucks, uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> paid $2 for it, so 30 bucks. It's good to me, plus they'll pay their own postage. And last but not least, my favorite find of the day is Luke Harper Brody Lee uh, shirt. AEW, AEW, he died at the start of this year. Unfortunately, Luke Harper, Brody Lee, whatever you want to call him. He had two different names, two different companies. Uh, but this Brody Lee shirt should go for big bucks. Uh, this one should go for at least over a hundred dollars. So I only put a hundred bucks in the kitty for this one, but I'm going to try really high. Uh, not because just because he passed away, because there's no Brody Lee, Luke Harper uh, shirts on uh, eBay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, bring up the kitty. All together we spent thirty-three dollars. Thirty-three dollars we spent. And kitty, how much are we going to get back today? $410 before fees and taxes, $410 bucks just for a good couple of hours. My two favourite stores were closed, which sucked balls, but it doesn't matter. I'm very happy with the lot that I've got. $410, once it's listed, once it sells, before fees and taxes, fuck off kitty. Alright guys, cheers for watching and uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, do what the fuck you like, but I'll be back next week to do it all again. See you!